In this video, we talk about undoing things in Git with the checkout, revert, and reset commands. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So let's go ahead and pull up a list of all of our commits currently sitting in our local repository. And again, to do that, let's get log one line. And so here's our list of commits. If you watch my previous video where we did some commits, you'll notice that I added a few more just so we have some more to work with as we're undoing our changes or reverting or resetting our changes. So we have a little bit more to work with. So the first uh, command I wanna to talk to you about is checkout. And basically what this one allows you to do is go back and look at your previous commits and see what was going on in there. You can't edit anything or change anything, but you can go back and look and see what it looked like at that point in time. So this is the checkout function, and it's get checkout. And to navigate to whichever um, commit you want to look at, you use this SHA information here. So we can go ahead, let's go look at our, when we added our style sheet to the index file. Let's go ahead and copy that, paste that on in there. I'll run it real quick, and it gives us a blurb of information uh, of things we could do. I'm not gonna worry about it at this point in time. Uh, but you also notice that it changed where we are. We're no longer in master. We're, we're over here looking at this particular commit. Uh, it also updated our files over here in our working directory. So basically it reverted back to the time of that commit. So if we come back over here, open our file. We see this is when we added our, our style sheet, I believe, right? That's what I was going back to. I went to added style sheet to index file. So that's what I did here. So that's what we did. That's what our file looked like. We could examine it, be like, oh, that's what it looked like. Okay, so maybe we wanna go back and do something and change our current line of code or something to that effect. Uh, but it's just basically a way to go back and look in time. And that's that checkout function there. Uh, again, you can't ch save anything or edit anything. It's just like a read only view of, of what happened in the past. So after you're done looking at your your, your files in the past, and you wanna come back to your master, you do git checkout master, and now you're back in your master view uh, where you currently are. So if you open up your file now, you're back in present time where we've added a headline or H1, as well as a uh, some body content. This is my super awesome website. So we're back where we were when we left off. So that's git checkout. The next command I wanna talk about is git revert. And basically what it allows you to do is go in here, identify a commit, and basically undo that single particular commit. So that's what we're gonna do right here is git revert. So let's say that we, we added some feature to our program and we wanna go ahead and basically remove that feature. So for example, in this case, Let's say that I wanna remove all the body content that I added over here in this commit because I don't like that content. It was not good content and I want it gone. So just real quick before I do the revert, let's check out our files. So we got our index file real quick. And so here we go. Here's our body content that we added during that commit. So we're gonna basically undo that. And then here's our style sheet as well real quick. Take a look at it, uh, see what it looks like. Notice that we have our H1 color change in here which is what we did in this commit here. So let's see what happens. Do we think that our H1 tag is gonna be removed or is that gonna stay put? Cause it's in a different commit. So we'll find out in just a second here. All right, so to do git revert, it's git revert. And then the SHA of the, the commit, you're going to revert and we'll paste that in there, run it real quick, and waiting for your editor to close the file. So it pops up our editor. Oh, we could go ahead and change this message if we want to, but I'll leave it as a default. Basically, it's revert added body content to index. So let's run it real quick, and it reverted back. If I do git log one line, you see that we still have that SHA there, that one commit added body content, and then it basically created another commit on top of, uh, at the top, our head, right here of our master branch, and basically it reverted added body content to index. So let's go ahead and take a look at our files and see what it did. So if we open our index file, and we look at it real quick, we see that our body content is gone, oh no. So that's what we wanted, that, that feature 
we wanted it removed. So we're reverting that commit, basically pulling that commit out. And then we'll check out our style sheet, see if our next commit was removed. So you see right there, our H1 tag remains. So it's still in place. So it does not, reverting does not edit all commits to a point. It only edits the one commit that you've identified. So it only does this one and it doesn't like edit and undo, you know, the next commit that you made. So that's kind of cool. It can be very helpful if one of your commits, you created some feature and you know, it turns out to be a garbage feature and you don't want it. You could go ahead and basically revert it, get it out of there and you don't have to worry about it. So that's, that's another reason why you want your commits to be like a chunk of something that you did. Um, so that way, if you need to revert it, you're just removing that chunk instead of like messing up your whole, your whole file structure, your whole system, your whole program. Um, so just something else to keep in mind. So that is git revert. The next command is git reset. And it's kind of a hardcore one because it will remove commits. Like they'll be gone. So there's no getting them back. So you want to make sure that when you execute this command, you're doing it because you want those files gone, those other commits gone. All right, so to do it, you go with git reset. And let's say we want to basically come back to this version here. So we'll go one, nine, four, one, one, four, nine, nine, two, oh, four, run it real quick. And basically it reset our project all the way back to this commit here. So it got rid of this commit and it got rid of this revert commit. So we're back, back here where we started. We can see with git log one line that it removed our revert commit and our change h1 color commit. So now we just are back here, like like those other commits never happened. Now this git reset did leave the index file, the index.html file and the style sheet CSS file in our working directory. So if we're like, oh shoot, I messed up. I should not have, have done that. I should not have reset. We can go ahead and git add period and then git commit and just for sake of example undo reset and then git log one line and so basically what we did was we just like saved ourselves from that reset like we we basically merged the h1 commit that we did up here we basically combined this h1 commit and this one into one that was the undo reset. So hopefully that makes some sort of sense what I just said right there. But to recap, when we did the reset command, it undid all of our changes, but it saved them in that working directory. Now, if we like closed it and did something else, like they'd be gone forever, but I went ahead and added them back to my staging area and then recommitted. So basically I undid the reset by doing that. Now there's also a, a hard reset, which like there's no go coming back from. And to do it, we do git reset, and then where we want to reset back to, and we'll go back to this SHA right down here. We want to get rid of everything we'd done previously. So git reset, and then dash dash hard. Run it, and then we can do git log one, one line. And now we're back to where we did our initial commit and added basic HTML and title or tile, title uh, tag. So like those other commits that we had, they're gone. Like there's no getting those things back. They're gone forever, gone for good. So when you do get reset hard, make sure you know what you're doing. And when you do a regular, just get reset uh, before moving forward, make sure that you don't wanna restage those files and recommit those files. Make sure you you're wanna get rid of what you're getting rid of. Hopefully that is clear. So in this video, we covered three ways to kind of go back in time and look at previous commits. We had the git checkout, which we could go back, do like a read-only view of our files. We had the git revert, which basically undoes one of our previous commits. And then we have the git reset, which gets rid of like all the commits up to a point. And remember, git reset, there's no coming back from. So be very uh, purposeful and know what you're doing if you're gonna reset something because 
again, no coming back. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.